back in like 2020 to 2021, I predicted the downfall of Disney, the downfall of Disney Plus, that Disney was going to suffer after the pandemic, okay? Disney doesn't, Disney, you know, spent all the time and energy, you know, under 2019, which, yes, the 2019 box office was extremely impressive. Having so many movies make over a billion dollars is extremely impressive. But Disney is now, now in 2023, and Disney is struggling. Disney might have to sell ABC. They will, ABC will be freed from the Disney prison. Yes, ABC will be its, you know, will be sold to broadcast the next style. So Disney saved the cable bundle earlier by last minute deal of Sonic Communications. But Disney will still have to sell ABC to some other cable company. So Disney is continuing to lose money. There's also rumors that Disney may have to sell Star Wars as well, which means Disney will lose ownership over that IP as well. So Disney is continuing to suffer and, you know, go down. We told Disney, we told Disney that Disney is going to go down a dark path and they're never going to get out of it. Disney did not listen to us and continue to go down this dark path of wokeness. And it seems that, you know, get woke, go broke is a very real phenomenon now. It's not just a theory that someone made up online. We have proof of get woke, go broke, and that's Walt Disney Company themselves. Disney, you know, instead of, you know, trying to appeal, instead of trying to appeal towards everybody, they try to appeal towards the woke crowd. And, of course, that never, ever works. There's, it never, ever works, okay? Bud White tried to do it. Oh, well, what happened to Bud White? Nobody, uh, no one talks about Bud White, okay? Bud White is a dead brand, okay? Target, you know, lost billions of dollars, you know, because they tried to cater towards woke interests. And Disney is the biggest of them all. You know, Disney find oh, People will watch our movies anyways. Our movies are timeless, okay? So, you know, I'm sorry, but the little moment we make will not be considered timeless. It'll be roasted and destroyed. Of course, that just goes with the, my hate of this Disney remakes overall and how bad it is. But the little moment we make be the first Disney remake to officially lose money at the box office. Well, it's really telling that Disney has run out of creativity. Ed Man Watch Quantum May becomes the first non-pandemic Marvel movie to lose money since The Incredible Hulk. Because we're not calling Black Widow, because that was released during the Delta wave of the pandemic. The like, same thing with the Eternals, you could, def you could technically use the Omicron variant as an excuse for the Eternals failing. But Amanda the Watch Quantum Media was Marvel's first failure that is not pandemic related did, since The Incredible Hulk. Okay, as well. And if you count a Disney Plus shows, you count Miss Marvel, you count Seahawk, can count Moon Knight, can count, you know, Secret Invasion, okay? All those shows did far worse than One Piece, okay? Far worse than the live action One Piece movie. Not movie, TV series, okay? That's how bad it's doing for Disney. That's how bad it's doing for Disney, okay? Disney is losing billions of dollars, and it could happen to a much better company. Disney has been digging the hole for a while, and now... Disney is suffering, digging their own hole. And also, they had to delete all the movies because of the, you know, strikes that are going on, okay? You know, so Disney is going to continue losing money on Disney+. Plus. There's gonna be, the Disney+, Plus is going to continue dying as well. And Disney is going to suffer a slow and painful death as well. Goodbye.